This week in Management 3319, you are going to step away from the online homework and traditional way that we have been working through this class and look at critical thinking. And this is intended to be an uncomfortable, take you out of your comfort zone type of week so that you can begin thinking about such things as symptoms that are really just pain points of a larger problem how to solve the larger problem with a sustainable solution that will last a long time, while considering multiple perspectives of all those people that might be involved or affected by our decision. I have given you a lecture on Southwest Airlines. So the first link inside the week is a case that you need to read through and take some notes on. I will walk through that case with you in a video lecture and I tried to make it as painless as possible but it wasn't really something I love doing. So I did the best I could do and was filmed in a camera um, place inside the university. So do the best you can with that. When I ask you to pause, please pause. Um, there's a lecture then that follows that up about critical thinking and that builds on processes and strategies that we need to engage in when we are looking at solving a problem and thinking critically about that in terms of the thorough analysis that we give that problem. You will then create a paper that is three to five pages long that works through the case. And that is sitting in the folder as well toward the bottom and is indicated by a case analysis approach and a rubric. So you're gonna write a paper and the first part of the paper will be a summary of what you think is going on in Southwest Airlines with their de decision in trying to decide if they should try to make more money. You will then look at naming the problem statement and being very careful in not just naming symptoms, but really naming the true problem. From there, you will look at three alternative approaches to solve the problem while talking about the pros and cons of each alternative. Once you do that, there should be a clear winner that steps forward and says, I'm the best solution to this problem. And then you will elaborate on that in the final section of your paper that says, here's what we're gonna do, and here's why it's gonna work, and here's what outcomes we might expect from this solution. So it's a three to five page paper. You should have some scholarly sources in there that you will reference and use uh, reference them with proper format. And there's a guide in there in the folder that talks about what a scholarly source is. And I've given you some ways to consider thinking about decision making from people that make really tough decisions like Warren Buffett. You also, if you attended the Business Hall of Fame presentation last Thursday, you heard some ideas from Mr. John Goff about ways that he takes risks and tries to mediate the risk involved while still trying to make some money. So I think the folder is really a valuable place for you to get about everything you need to get through this week. We will not have any homework online. You will be working through this this week and looking at all the materials. And please, please, please ask questions if you have any, or if you're not quite under, um, really feeling like you've got a good problem statement written, then you need to come talk to me. But I think inside the video, you'll find about everything you need. So this is my way of kind of walking you through the process in an online environment and trying to help you begin thinking about how to be a critical thinker or engage in metacognition, which is thinking about how you think. And it's a very important component because if you look at job descriptions in indeed.com or career builder or wherever you may be searching for a new position, about 80,000 plus job descriptions say that they want an employee to have critical thinking skills. And so we were trying to really develop that here as a soft skill while you're at Texas Wesleyan. So it's something that we really, really, really um, want to be able to practice while you're here getting your degree. And it is also one of the objectives on the front page of the syllabus, if you wanna check there. It's something that we want you to walk away with is critical thinking skills and some analytical reasoning. So good luck this week. You have an exam next week. I have given you two weeks to get through this assignment. So basically before Monday night, which I believe is um, gonna be two weeks, October 8th maybe, you need to have taken your midterm exam, which will be next week, and written this paper. So you kind of have a, maybe a breath of fresh air and gonna look at some things differently as we approach the midterm point in the semester. I hope you have a great week and enjoy this critical thinking. If you have questions, please 
contact me via email, phone, or um, online during my office hours. Thanks.